Right now in Texas, SpaceX is working towards a future when traveling to other planets is as normal as taking a flight with their Star Factory, a facility capable of building one Starship rocket every day. This could change our path to Mars and beyond. For a long time, people have been fascinated by the stars and dreamed of exploring further than Earth. But the challenges have always been massive, especially with the high costs of making and launching rockets. These costs have kept space travel limited to a few wealthy nations and top space agencies. And that's where SpaceX steps in. They aim to completely redefine space travel. The Star Factory is a bigger part of this effort, a large-scale production site designed to build rockets faster and cheaper. It's not just about sending more rockets into space. It's about making space travel affordable and creating new opportunities for exploration that were previously out of reach. Star Factory is a facility at Starbase. It was built to facilitate the removal of the old tents and increase the production of Starship components. Once completed, it's expected to produce parts for up to three ships a week. Originally, SpaceX planned Starbase to accommodate launches of Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and other suborbital vehicles. However, in 2018, SpaceX shifted its focus to exclusively using the site for its next-generation launch vehicle, the Starship. This shift led the expansion of production and testing capacities between 2018 and 2020, aiming to make Starbase a launch point for Mars missions. Major construction at SpaceX's Boca Chica launch site kicked off in 2016, starting with soil preparation for the launch pad, a process expected to take about two years. By late 2018, additional soil work and construction were well underway. By September 2019, the site had evolved into an operational launch facility equipped with ground support gear necessary for testing methane-fueled Starship vehicles. Initially, lighter work like fencing and setting up temporary buildings at the control center started in 2014. The original plans for the Texas launch location, as outlined by the 2013 Draft Environmental Impact Statement (EIS), included a 20-acre vertical launch area and a 12.2-acre space for a launch control center and pad near Texas State Highway 4. However, adjustments were made based on the actual land SpaceX could purchase and reconfigure. SpaceX broke ground on the site in September 2014, but construction wasn't expected till late 2015. This timeline was pushed further as the same team that was building Kennedy Space Center Launch Pad 39A would also handle Boca Chica. SpaceX planned to invest about $100 million over several years, while Texas state authorities committed $15 million to extend infrastructure to support the new spaceport. The design phase wrapped up by March 2015, but construction was delayed due to a rocket explosion at one of SpaceX's Florida launch sites in 2016. This incident diverted resources and held up progress for over a year. To deal with the waterlogged ground at Boca Chica, SpaceX used a soil surcharging process, trucking in 310,000 cubic yards of new soil. Between late 2015 and early 2016, despite these efforts, poor soil stability led to further delays, pushing back the extended completion to 2017 and the first launch date to 2018. By 2018, SpaceX ramped up construction significantly, developing a large propellant tank farm and relocating the Starhopper prototype to the launch pad, where it flew for the first time in July 2019. By September 2019, the site was functioning as a full-fledged industrial rocket facility, operating multiple shifts to support extensive testing. Plans for future expansions of the SpaceX South Texas launch site emerged in 2021, including new suborbital test stands, an additional orbital launch pad, Orbital Launch Mount B, and new integration towers. By mid-2021, SpaceX had completed stacking the launch tower and continued developing critical infrastructure, such as the Stage Zero launch mount built to support and catch the rockets. In April 2023, Starbase hosted its first launch of the fully stacked Ship 24 and Booster 7. The mission ended prematurely due to control issues, and the rocket was destroyed mid-flight, highlighting the ongoing challenges in developing reusable and reliable spaceflight systems. Despite these setbacks, SpaceX continues to push forward with its ambitious plans for Starbase, aiming to make it a central hub for interplanetary missions in the future. The Star Factory building features three different heights and is clad in white panels with black cladding and glass on the front and extends up to the location of the old tents, original ring yard, and Mega Bay 2. Most structural steelwork has been completed with the facility in the process of being fully cladded, roofed, and soon outfitted with all the equipment required to fully produce starships. A similar building was previously constructed at SpaceX's Roberts Road facility at Cape Canaveral. The building had the name Star Factory first. However, with SpaceX decided to focus on the development of their site in Texas, the building was repurposed to a processing facility for the Starlink satellites ahead of the launch on Falcon 9. Thus, it was renamed by the community to Hangar 2. Ground was broken for the first phase of the Star Factory around February 2022 between tents 3 and 4. 
In the following years, the facility expanded through additional phases. Phase 2 was constructed to the northeast of the first, and phases 3 and 4 were built to the southeast. As each new phase was completed, it quickly became operational, enabling a continuous ramp-up in production capabilities. Phase 4 was notable for its high roof, which housed nose cones before the phase was sealed. Currently, Phase 5 is under construction to the southwest of Phase 4, where tents 1, 2, and 3 once stood. These tents were demolished in mid to late 2023 to make room for the new expansion. By March of this year, glass installation began on the front of the Star Factory beneath the black cladding. Star Factory is a key element in SpaceX's mission to enable frequent missions to Mars and beyond, aligning with Elon's vision of establishing a self-sustaining human presence on the Red Planet. Located within the coastal plains of Texas at SpaceX's Starbase, the Star Factory stands as an engineering marvel, reshaping the aerospace industry. The facility spans an impressive 800 by 800 feet, totaling approximately 640,000 square feet, or around 60,000 square meters. Musk describes it as the machine that builds the machine, replacing the previous manufacturing tents and representing a significant leap forward in production capacity. The Star Factory's ambitious goal is to produce a Starship rocket, a spacecraft capable of carrying up to 100 people every day. This unprecedented production rate could dramatically change how we approach interplanetary travel. The key to this extraordinary production capability lies in the Star Factory's innovative design. Unlike conventional aerospace facilities, the Star Factory employs an adjacent linear flow model, strategically organizing each stage in the manufacturing process so that it seamlessly feeds into the next. It's like a well-choreographed dance where components in partially assembled rockets move efficiently from one workstation to another, minimizing delays and maximizing productivity. The factory floor buzzes with specialized workstations, each dedicated to specific tasks. Some focus on welding primary structures while others handle the installation of heat shields. This layout optimizes every step of the rocket construction process for speed and precision. Beyond its design, the Star Factory distinguishes itself through advanced manufacturing techniques that push the boundaries of rocket production. Automated assembly lines and state-of-the-art robotics work alongside human engineers and technicians, creating a hybrid workforce that merges human creativity with machine precision. These robots are not just limited to simple tasks. They handle complex operations like welding, painting, and material handling with a level of precision beyond human capabilities. This automation supports around-the-clock production cycles and significantly lowers the risk of human error in critical components. SpaceX's approach draws inspiration from Tesla's playbook, applying similar principles of automation and efficiency to revolutionize the aerospace industry. The flagship Star Factory bears a strong resemblance to Texas Gigafactories, which have transformed electric vehicle production. By applying these proven manufacturing techniques to rockets, SpaceX is introducing automotive-style efficiency to the aerospace industry. Quality control is critical in rocket production, and the Star Factory does not cut corners. Advanced diagnostic tools such as X-ray machines and ultrasonic testers inspect every component, ensuring that each part meets strict standards without slowing down the production line. One of the standout features of the Star Factory is its commitment to iterative design. Each Starship prototype is built with improvements based on data from previous flights and tests. This continuous refinement process allows SpaceX to rapidly evolve the Starship design, pushing the limits of performance and reliability with every new version. These innovations have a massive impact on production time and costs. By streamlining the manufacturing process and leveraging advanced technologies, SpaceX has drastically reduced the time and resources needed to build rockets. What used to take years can now be potentially completed in days at a fraction of the traditional cost. The Star Factory's impressive capabilities are just one piece of SpaceX's broader vision for interplanetary travel, centered around the revolutionary Starship spacecraft. Starship isn't just another rocket. It's a fully reusable spacecraft designed to redefine space exploration. Measuring 394 feet in height, it can carry up to 100 people or 150 metric tons of cargo to destinations like the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Elon envisions even larger future versions with Starship potentially reaching 500 feet in height and capable of carrying 200 or more metric tons of payload. These capabilities represent a massive leap in our ability to send humans and supplies beyond Earth's orbit. At the heart of Starship's impressive performance are its Raptor engines. These advanced propulsion systems use liquid methane and liquid oxygen, offering twice the thrust of the engines used on SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets. The boost in power is essential for lifting heavy payloads out of Earth's gravity and propelling them across space. The choice of methane as fuel is strategic. It can potentially be produced on Mars using carbon dioxide for the Martian atmosphere and water ice from beneath the planet's surface. 
Another critical innovation is Starship's heat shield, composed of thousands of hexagonal ceramic tiles that protect the spacecraft during the intense heat of atmospheric reentry. This feature is essential for reusability, significantly cutting the cost of spaceflight. Starship's reusability and high payload capacity could dramatically lower the cost of launching materials into orbit, opening up new possibilities for scientific research, space tourism, and even large-scale construction projects beyond Earth. But SpaceX's ambitions go far beyond low Earth orbit. Elon's ultimate goal is to colonize Mars, a massive undertaking that requires a fleet of spacecraft capable of transporting thousands of people and millions of tons in equipment and supplies. Establishing a self-sustaining city on Mars will require extensive infrastructure, including habitat modules, power generation equipment, food production systems, and medical facilities. Each mission will need to carry not just people, but all the tools and supplies necessary for survival on the Red Planet. To achieve this, mass production becomes essential. Traditional aerospace manufacturing, with its complex supply chains and reliance on manual labor, cannot meet the demands of such an ambitious project. Building even a single spacecraft like NASA's Space Launch System SLS can take years and cost around $2 billion a launch, a limitation that becomes clear when considering the tight launch windows to Mars, which occur every 26 months. To establish a sustainable presence on Mars, SpaceX would need to launch multiple spacecraft during each window. The Star Factory addresses these challenges head-on with advanced manufacturing techniques, including automated assembly lines and robotics. SpaceX aims to optimize production to the extent that it can produce one Starship per day, a shift that could redefine spacecraft manufacturing. The rapid production rate is critical for several reasons. It allows for quick iteration and improvements of Starship designs, ensures a steady supply of spacecraft for operations and tests, and reduces costs through economies of scale. Musk has set a goal of bringing the production cost of each Starship down to between $20 to $30 million, with a long-term target as low as $10 million a spacecraft. This efficiency, combined with the reusability of the spacecraft, makes the idea of Mars colonization not just a distant dream, but a tangible reality. The Star Factory marks a pivotal moment in space exploration by revolutionizing how rockets are built. SpaceX is not just creating spacecraft, it's laying the groundwork for humanitarian's interplanetary future. As the Star Factory ramps up to full production, potentially churning out thousands of starships annually, we may see a significant shift in our approach to space travel. Lower costs and increased accessibility could usher in a new era of scientific discovery, space-based industries, and even tourism beyond Earth's orbit. More importantly, the Star Factory could be the key to realizing Musk's vision of a self-sufficient city on Mars. While challenges remain, the Star Factory is a testament to human ingenuity and ambition, possibly marking the beginning of our journey to become a multi-planet species. We are committed to releasing two videos a week. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds.